Jimmy Walker is an American actor and comedian who has a net worth of $800,000. Walker is most famous for playing James Evans Jr., J.J., on the CBS sitcom Good Times, 1974-1979, where he originated the popular catchphrase Dynamite. Jimmy began performing stand-up comedy in the late 60s, and he has more than 50 acting credits to his name, including the films Let's Do It Again, 1975, and Airplane. 1980, the TV movie The Greatest Thing That Almost Happened, 1977, and the television shows At Ease, 1983, and Bustin' Loose, 1987-1988. In 2012, Walker published the book Dynamite, Good Times, Bad Times, Our Times, A Memoir, Jimmy Walker was born James Carter Walker Jr. on June 25, 1947, in Brooklyn, New York. He grew up in the Bronx with mother Lorena, father James Sr., and sister Beverly. James Sr. worked as a Pullman porter, and Lorena was the head of the nursing department at a hospital. Jimmy attended Theodore Roosevelt High School, and he took part in the SEEK, Search for Education, Evaluation, and Knowledge, program, which was funded by New York State. Through SEEK, Walker learned about radio engineering, and he was hired by the NYC radio station WRVR. Beginning with the 1964 World Series, Jimmy worked as a vendor at Yankee Stadium as a teenager, and Mickey Mantle once gave him a silver dollar. Walker began his stand-up comedy career in 1969, and after appearing on The Jack Parr Show and Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the casting director for Good Time spotted Jimmy and cast him as James J. Evans Jr. The series aired 133 episodes over six seasons and earned Walker two Golden Globe nominations. The catchphrase Dynamite, which is credited to John Rich, one of the show's directors, was featured in the TV Land special The 100 Greatest TV Quotes and Catchphrases. While starring on Good Times, Jimmy released the stand-up comedy album Dynamite, 1975. Walker's co-stars John Amos and Esther Rall became frustrated with the direction the show went in due to J.J.'s popularity, with Rall stating, he's 18 and he doesn't work. He can't read or write. He doesn't think. The show didn't start out to be that, little by little, with the help of the artist, I suppose, because they couldn't do that to me, they have made J.J. more stupid and enlarged the role. Amos also voiced his displeasure, saying, the writers would prefer to put a chicken hat on J.J. and have him prance around saying D.Y.N.O. might, and that way they could waste a few minutes and not have to write meaningful dialogue. Jimmy had a cameo in the 2010 film Big Money Rust Loss, then he appeared in the sci-fi movie Super Shark, 2011, and the comedy What Goes Around Comes Around, 2012. In 2015, he appeared in the film Sweet Lorraine, and in 2016, he co-starred with Robert De Niro, Leslie Mann, Harvey Keitel, Edie Falco, and Danny DeVito in The Comedian. In 2019, Walker appeared as himself on Live in Front of a Studio Audience, Good Times, which recreated the 1975 episode The Politicians with Jay Farrow playing the role of J.J. The special, which also starred Andre Brar, Viola Davis, and Tiffany Haddish, won a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Variety Special, Live. In 2020, Walker appeared in the film A Wrestling Christmas Miracle. Jimmy has also appeared on The $10,000 Pyramid, American Bandstand, The Midnight Special, Match Game, The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, and Late Show with David Letterman as well as several Dean Martin celebrity roast specials. On a 2012 episode of The Wendy Williams Show, Jimmy stated that he has had numerous girlfriends but has never married or had children. In 2017, it was rumored that Walker was dating conservative pundit and Coulter, but Coulter addressed the rumors by tweeting best of friends, love him, no romance. Politically, Jimmy has described himself as a realist independent and has said that he opposes affirmative action. In a 2012 interview with CNN, he stated that he is morally opposed to gay marriage but that it should be passed because the battle is not worth the war. In 2017, Walker appeared on Fox News and voiced his support for Donald Trump, saying I'm for probably 90% of the things he does. In 2006, Jimmy and his Good Times co-stars John Amos, Ralph Carter, Johnette Dubois, and Bernadette Stannis received an Impact Award at the TV Land Awards. The series also earned Walker Golden Globe nominations for Best Supporting Actor, Television in 1975 and 1976. During 1975 Walker was also a weekend personality on contemporary R&B music station KAGB 103.9 FM licensed to Inglewood in the Los Angeles market. Walker appeared on The Tonight Show and Match Game during the 1970s and early 1980s. He was a five-time panelist on the Match Game Hollywood Squares Hour from 1983 to 1984. 
He also appeared on the 1990 revival of Match Game and various game shows during that era. In 2012, Walker's autobiography, Dynamite, Good Times, Bad Times, Our Times, A Memoir, was published. In 2012, Walker announced the release of his official app developed by Monty Gallet for iOS. He symbolized the 70s American dream of success, the former kid from the ghetto who rose to wisecracking TV superstardom. While in his element as the broadly strutting, gleamy toothed J.J. Evans of the popular urban-styled sitcom Good Times, 1974, Jimmy Walker lived the extremely good life. Following the series' demise, however, reality again checked in. Still in all, he has not self-destructed as others before him have and continues to enjoy a comedy career now approaching four decades. Raised in the South Bronx, Jimmy Walker first achieved success as a stand-up comedian in Harlem in the late 60s and 70s. An appearance on Jack Parr Tonight boosted his fame, and an encounter with legendary producer Norman Lear led to sitcom stardom. As Walker tells it, he was unfamiliar with the industry bigwigs who brought him in for a role on Lear's mod spin-off Good Times, and he gave them his honest opinion, this is not funny at all. Despite that rocky start, Walker became an integral part of the show's success, with audiences tuning in to see his character J.J. Evans deliver his dynamite catchphrase. Throughout the series, however, his bold comedy style was never quite in sync with the sitcom's earnest messages. I was a fish out of water, just came in and started doing jokes, he says. Norman went with it, but he wasn't enthused about it. Even with his demanding schedule, Jimmy continued to appear as the headliner at top comedy clubs, including the world-famous Comedy Store in Los Angeles. His joke-writing team included a young David Letterman, Jay Leno, and Byron Allen. Walker's television work would lead to movie roles, like boxer Bootnay Farnsworth in Let's Do It Again, co-starring with entertainment luminaries Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. Jimmy also released a smash comedy album, Dynamite, that went gold. When Good Times ended in 1979, Aaron Spelling offered Walker a starring role in the short-lived B.A.D. Cats and returned to cast him again in 1983 in At Ease, an ABC series about a bunch of United States Army misfits. He also landed choice roles in films like Airplane and Airport 79, and was a regular on television shows like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. In recent years he's made scene-stealing appearances on The George Lopez Show, Everybody Hates Chris with Chris Rock, and Scrubs. He currently is a panelist on the game show Funny You Should Ask. But despite all Jimmy's success on the big and small screens, stand-up comedy remains his first love. Walker currently tours the country 35 to 45 weeks a year performing live and guesting on game shows and late-night television. In his spare time he writes scripts for TV and movies and continues to enjoy a comedy career now approaching five decades. Real Estate Jimmy Walker Luxury Real Estate at Berkshire Hathaway embodies a polished and professional image, reflecting the HIG. The branding is probably consistent with the Berkshire Hathaway name, emphasizing trust and quality. Marketing materials, whether print or digital, would showcase stunning property photography and compelling descriptions that highlight the unique features of each listing. Car Collection Jimmy Walker's Ford GT is a standout in his car collection, known for its stunning design and performance. The Ford GT is a high-performance sports car that pays homage to the classic GT40, famous for its success at Le Mans. With its powerful engine, advanced aerodynamics, and sleek lines, the Ford GT is a symbol of automotive excellence. Owners like Walker often appreciate not just the car's speed and handling but also its engineering heritage and exclusivity.